Hi, in this video I'm going to talk how to improvise a melody line. This could be interesting while we improvise, but also if we are writing a music. Before we start, I want to say that in this video we will focus on the melody line, so the right hand. The left hand will play once a chord progression in a root position. No rhythm, no arpeggio. I'll make another video specifically for this. Let's get started. Ok, the first thing is the chord progression that I choose. F major A minor B flat major and C major. As I said, they are in a root position. The first step is to play with the right hand one note from the chord and playing with the left hand. So, for example, in F major I can play in A minor in B flat major in C major Ok, so let's start with this simple rule This was the first step, but in general it would be better if the hands moved in contrary motion. So, if my left hand moves from left to right, it would be better for my right hand to make the opposite movement, so from right to left. Just an example. Of course, it's not necessary every time, but in general, it's a rule I suggest to follow. I think it's very important to know the rules of a harmony in order to be able to break them. Music is not a science, or at least it's not just a science. It's art, and so it's natural that it changes, evolves. And so, if we want to develop to change, it's important that we know the rules that had governed it for centuries. And this applies to all the arts. Picasso made masterpieces with sometimes distorted faces, but he had studied the classics for a long time, and especially in his youth, had painted according to the strict rules regarding the human figure and peace picture. And now back to the music with the passage notes. Passing notes are those that we place between one chord and another. In this example, I start playing one note from the first chord, then I play some notes that could be far or near from the first one. But the important thing is that when I arrive to the new chord, I play a note from the new chord. Let's try it.
and so on. In these examples, I played with the two different rhythms every two bars. I played and here a little rest. This is very important because in this way the melody sounds more natural. Uses long notes to give breath. The other thing is what I said before. I started with this and played different notes. But when I arrived at the new chord, I play a note from the new chord. Before moving on the next level, I'd like to emphasize again the importance of a file rhythm. And this because, in general, too many different patterns do not help listening. And now we continue with the appoggiatura. In this step, we play notes that aren't in the chord. So, for example, while I play F major with the left hand, I play G. But it's crucial that then I play this one. Or if I play D minor, I play. Obviously, it's better not on every chord. But it's a very important possibility that makes our music more interesting. And there are plenty of examples in the literature that could be cited. I will only play one that come to mind just now. There are different chords, but it's only to give an idea of the use of appoggiatura. Look! Again. And so on. Okay, and now back to our improvisation. Obviously, these are about a few of the things that are possible. But before concluding, I want to point out a few other aspects that by playing the same notes with the same rhythm can radically change your improvisation. Don't forget touch, articulation and above all dynamics. Fundamental aspects but which are more difficult to cover in a video. That's all for today. I hope this video was interesting and inspiring. If so, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to comment or suggest, I'd be happy. Thanks for watching and see you at the next video. Bye!